Hey guys, I'm Michael from MichaelJohnAdams.com and now we're going to be looking at right hand technique. Something that else is also very important. Now there's a lot of different things you can do, but I think a good place to start is probably the two finger alternating technique. Um, now there are, there are no rules to plain bass. People people could care less what you're doing as long as it sounds good and feels good. But I think two finger technique and that's probably what a lot of people are going to teach you at first. It's a good place to start. It's powerful. You can do a lot with it. Um, but uh, yeah, let's just let's just get right into it. I'm gonna come up nice and close to the camera so you can see what's going on. But uh, okay, we're just gonna start nice and slow, starting on the E string, alternating index finger and middle finger, or you could try middle finger and index finger. Try both. Actually, you'll eventually need to be able to do both. Um, but for the time being, find what's most comfortable with your your leading finger, whether you prefer to lead with the index or the middle finger. And then, once once you start to get that happening, it's probably gonna this again. This will be very frustrating at first because it's just not something you do ever in normal life. You'll want to move this to the other strings. skipping around a little bit, but I think you get the idea here, nice and slow, alternating one and two, and uh, let's talk about your thumb for a second. Now, you can, you can anchor it, and I'm going to go ahead and start muting strings with my left hand. You can anchor your thumb, you can anchor it on the E string, or wherever you feel comfortable, or you can have it moving. I'm, I'm playing through this a little, you know, fast just for the sake of the video. But you, you get the idea. You can do anchored or moving thumb. Now there's different reasons. I prefer the moving thumb because anchoring. One thing you'll you'll start to notice is that the other strings will ring out these these fellows here that the, your thumb isn't anchored on. It's a little bit more of an intermediate topic. I wouldn't worry too much about it, but I like the moving thumb because it mutes that. Otherwise, if you're anchoring, you have to do a lot of muting with your left hand. But again, don't don't worry about that at first. Just get the alternating finger thing happening. It's uh, it's very frustrating, like I said earlier. It, it'll be super difficult. I I still remember the first song I learned to play with two fingers. That's how much of a barrier it is to overcome. I, I like remember exactly where I was and what I was doing. Um, but, uh, where was I? Oh, and you'll probably want to start practicing with a metronome uh, to, to keep track of your progress. So here, let's start at, uh, let's, let's start at 60. I'm a nice and slow and easy. And just, uh, stuff, but just do it for a few minutes um, at the beginning of your practice session, you know, get it out of the way, and in no time you'll be, you'll be uh, the master of two-finger technique. Alright, well, that sums up this video. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll uh, see you folks later.